What's up guys, Danny with Swamp and Stomp. So today I'm gonna go do a, do a little bit of scouting out in uh, one of my favorite places to hunt. Um, just the other day they went ahead and released the quotas for phase one. We got phase two kicking up here pretty soon. So um, good luck to everybody that's shooting for the quotas. You know, if you can't get in on a quota hunt, there's plenty of public land places that you can hunt. If you go on the FWC website, you'll be able to find areas near you. Um, you know, it's worth putting boots down on those areas and seeing what you can find. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put out the first cameras um, that we're putting out for this season. I'm going to kick it off right now, so I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys along. Stay tuned. First things first, I want to make sure that we go ahead and restock. Put fresh batteries in our cameras because uh, nothing worse than having your camera out for a month and then find out that it died as soon as you walked away. When you're out scouting, you want to make sure you look for um, natural food sources for the deer. I mean, whitetail will pretty much eat anything, but whenever uh, these cocoa plums are in full bloom and they got the fruits on them, and deers love that, they tear them up. So during, uh, right around, right around August, September, you'll see these, uh, fruits that these guys put out and the deer just tear them up. So I was walking down this uh, trail here and there was a coyote right over here. And uh, when I came around the corner, booked it that way. But as I started to look, I found like he, it looked like he was digging a hole or something. Let's check this. Track right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, pretty good size hold on. Quite sure what you were doing. If you guys think you might have an idea what uh what he was doing, drop it down in the comments because I have no idea. I thought maybe it would have been burying something or or even creating a den or something, but it's pretty wet. These must be pretty fresh because it rained real heavy earlier and uh, those would have been full of water. All right, so 
here's a little a little area um, where these tracks are. They're pretty fresh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set up a camera on them. Um, the trail, the tracks go into here. They go into here, and it looks like what they're doing is walking to this little opening here. I walk back in there, and you can see some of the uh, tops of the plants eating up. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up the camera to cover this area here. You catch anything that walks across here and anything that walks this little edge. I don't know if you can see it, but there's another trail that they're using right over here. So it's almost like a little intersection spot. Let's see what we get. Name that snake. Not very big. All right, well, that's a round trip right there. 4.9 miles. Didn't burn that many calories, but hey. Hey, thanks for joining me on this scouting trip. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you hit this button right over here to subscribe um, and hit the little bell notification so you know when we have new videos coming up. Pretty soon we're going to be doing that raffle and you'll get a notification for that as well. Thanks for joining Swampus Top. Subscribe now.